Hey, this is Lee Patterson at Stantec. I'm just revisiting the site here that we looked at at Graham's Valley South Road. This is the uh, site uh, after the initial failure. Um, and we've been and revisited the site and did another model um, post failure. I don't know if you can see that. So, uh, so there's been a removal of approximately 15 to 16 meters of material up that was left overhanging. Um, you can see that there's quite a significant amount of material has been taken away. Um, the original height of the failure was approximately 30 meters. Now it's approximately 40, uh, 46, I think, something like that. Um, it's been a relatively uh, easy job to resurvey this time, but it was quite bright on the, on the second day that I went along. Um, Things that are worth noticing is, uh, I guess, if we go in and uh, interrogate this model a little bit more closely, uh, we can see that there is still quite a bit of material that has been left overhanging. So the risk, risk is not entirely removed. Um, they've taken away the looser stuff, but we still have the primary joint plane going up and tucking underneath uh, a much smaller overhang right enough. Uh, but you can see that, uh, that that overhang is not um, insignificant in terms of potential weight of material that could come down. Certainly it would be enough to uh, potentially block the road again. Um, as well as that, um, we have uh, managed to fly this at a greater uh, height up the slope. I did it in several um, uh, bites, tied this together. Um, at some point um, since 2013, there has been uh, a rather large tree fall uh, or some sort of a, uh, well, you can see it, there's a significant scar in the hillside here. Um, it is probably worth checking this out to make sure that it is not something in the way of uh, a large tension feature associated with perhaps a, a mega movement um, of the larger feature. I would be surprised if it's a movement of the larger feature because uh, this tension crack actually starts to go down into uh, the limestone if it is a tension crack. So um, for it to be a tension crack, it would actually have to be going all the way down into the back of the limestone and I believe that the geology boundary for the schist probably runs somewhere uh, quite close to uh, up this line here. You can see up the ridge line and going through there. Uh, it's probably a shift in the, the geological boundary. So uh, as much as I'm a little bit anxious about what this uh, feature might be, um, I don't know if it's 100% likely to be a feature associated with movement of the larger uh, larger mass. Although, to be fair, I do understand that the uh, the block on the opposite side of the road, uh, the opposite side of the river, I understand from Paul Wapperice that uh, this is not uh, actually uh, stable uh, geology. This is a very, very large block of material which has moved and translated down the hill, blocked uh, the river in times past, and the river now takes a new path going around what is essentially a displaced mass. Um, albeit a, an intact large block um, rather than uh, rather than a morass of um, colluvium. But certainly yeah, interesting revisiting the site. Very good to uh, see that the work has been done and that the road is reopened again, uh, but definitely uh, continues to be a significant risk environment um, with the potential for failures from uh, the margin uh, upslope. Obviously, uh, some potential progression for this uh, feature at the top. I think that this, is, this smaller feature is definitely going to progress further in the future. Um, and I have questions about um, what this feature is. It would be good to actually get a person into that joint. Unfortunately, my photographs are quite dark, um, so it's not that great uh, to try and uh, interrogate exactly uh, what is going on in that feature. But it is quite a deep feature, I guess. If you look at it from underneath, you can see that it is quite yep quite a significant depth um, and I don't know if that is possible for all of that to be just canopy height um, I think it probably is but it's uh, it's something that's worth checking out